Hello everybody, I'm Oric with your Fix It Auto and today I'm going to be showing you how I'm going to be replacing the belts on my car. Uh, the one I'm going to be focusing on is the belt that goes around the air conditioning compressor and the alternator. Now normally I use the Deco brand, but this time around I decided to give Bando a try. Now these guys are an OEM supplier and they are also USA based, so I decided to give these guys a try, especially because they're actually a little bit cheaper than the Deco brand. And the deco that I have here is going to be sitting underneath the passenger seat in case of emergency. Now this is the issue that I'm trying to fix. If you listen closely, then you can hear the squeaking coming from the belt. And like I said before, I'm going to be focusing on the main drive belt. There is an accessory belt that goes around the power steering, and I'll be doing a separate video for that later. Now there are actually many things that could cause the squeaking. There could be a pulley misalignment, it could be the belt, it could also be uh, the bearings inside of the pulleys. Now knowing the previous owner of this car, this car was actually decently taken care of, but they didn't take care of a lot of stuff. So. I'm going to try to replace all the stuff that's usually regular maintenance, such as the belts, uh, since this does have 150,000 miles on the clock, who knows how often they've been replaced. Now to adjust the tension on the belt to get it loose enough in order to slip it off, it's really easy. Uh, you just have to loosen this bolt to allow it to pivot, and then you're going to have to loosen this one, and then this is what loosens the, t uh, the tension. So it's a 14 millimeter there, and then the uh, two 12 millimeter bolts over here. So we're just going to go ahead and loosen this pivot bolt over here with a 14 millimeter socket and ratchet. Just need to loosen it. Then we loosen this 12 millimeter bolt here. And this is actually a 13 millimeter bolt, not a 12 millimeter bolt like I originally thought. And then you just keep loosening that until eventually you have enough slack to remove the belt. Now the most important things to know is just um, now the important things to note are the width, the length, the amount of ribs that you see on the belt as well. I am actually impressed with the Bando brand. It does feel like it's a lot sturdier build than this old Deco. Uh, this one feels very cheaply made so I'm definitely going to get rid of that and this is the one that's going to be put in the car. Now to show you kind of what I'm doing and how the old belt was routed out, it just goes on the outside of all three pulleys. So I'm just going to have to make sure that it routes just like this onto the Celica. I found it easier to get it underneath the two pulleys on the bottom first and then work your way up. And then you could just slip this one right on. The tension on this belt might be a little bit tighter, so you may have to loosen this a little bit more. And then the next thing to do is to tighten this bolt back up so that way we bring tension back to the belt. And also be careful not to over tighten it because that's also a thing. And here comes my favorite part. And it looks like we fixed the issue because previously you could hear it right away right as you start the car and now I don't hear any squeaking so that fixed the issue. And there you have it folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Please if you like the video then please support by liking and sharing. And let me know in the comments what you guys think and how I can improve my channel. And please go check out my other videos, I actually have some very exciting projects such as the uh, Impala tribute that I'm making to the Supernatural show. And ring that notification bell so that way you know when I come out with a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching.